What's up everybody, it's me, Blake316, and like always, I am right. I am right like always. When I speak, it is the truth. People need to stop going against me, stop trying to go against my word, trying to stop saying that I'm wrong, because they find out the hard way that I'm always right. When people say it's my opinion, I tell them that it is fact, and it is fact because I'm always right. Let's look at the Last of Us Part Two Metacritic scores. Now I'm not talking the review scores of where you know these companies were paid off, where they received a check in the mail. I'm talking about the user review scores, such as the people as you and myself. The, re the user review scores are terrible. They're like a 3.4 right now. But you wanna know something? Those are the real scores of The Last of Us Part Two. I said the game sucks. I said the game isn't going to be good, and people who are now playing the game see it for themselves. If you haven't played the game yet, you know what? Watch a live stream here and there. Watch some gameplay because now they can release it. The game is literally a walking in grass simulator. All you do is walk in open grass fields, go into an abandoned building here and there, rinse and repeat for 25 hours. How boring does that sound to have no environment change? You're literally just walking in grass and you're walking in empty buildings for 25 hours. That is not fun. Now, what do they do? They added a, a horse? Oh man, it's like they added a little horse in it. Wow, that's a big game changer. Let's be honest. The enemies are still the same with the exception of like maybe two new uh, uh, zombies or bad guys or whatever you want to call them, the game literally has five enemies. Rinse and repeat. You rinse and repeat with the grass environments, you rinse and, rinse and repeat with the abandoned building environments, and you rinse and repeat with the enemies. It's naughty dog, you had seven years to make this game, and this is what you made? 25 hours of it, by the way. Who wants to play 25 hours of a stealth game that doesn't even give you the proper stealth mechanics. Who wants to play 25 hours of this one dimensional rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat gameplay? Nobody. But I said this in the past, people were attacking me in my previous videos, saying I didn't know what I was talking about, but guess what? This 3.4 current user score proves that I'm right. And I'm really curious. I bet you those same people who were hanging on those previous videos won't come back to this video and say I was right. No, of course not. The story, what, what made The Last of Us Remastered so good, the story, guess what? The story ain't even good in this one. So what gives this game a 10 that IGN gave it? What gives this game a quote unquote 95 Metacritic uh, review score, AKA paid for score, when the people, you and I, gave it the score they have of the user score. Let's be honest. Once again, this is another overhyped, overrated Sony exclusive. The Sony template is getting boring. It's getting, it's, it's overdone. People are tired of it. People don't want to play it anymore. Sony overhyped this game again. People bought into this hype again. And it's the same game. And know what makes me so different than any other YouTuber? You know, the ones who, who are on IGN and GameStop and who, 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 got the, who did reviews and they promoted like a high score. They're afraid to say what I'm saying. They're so afraid to say a Sony exclusive is bad because they're afraid of the backlash. Me, I don't care. Because people, the people need somebody like me to spread this truth. People need somebody like me. I'm like the prophet telling people that PlayStation exclusives are overrated, that The Last of Us Part Two sucks. It's the same thing over and over. It's literally the same game as the first one, but just a hell of a lot longer, which makes, which makes it a hell of a lot more boring. Mind you, no multiplayer, no difficulty uh, trophies. This game sucks. It's not good. They, they overhyped it. They wait they, seven years for this. Nah, bruh, like always, I'm right, and the user score of Metacritic proves it. You have literally, literally over 10,000 user score reviews. That number is going to increase. It's still day one of the release. I'm right, like always.
These scores are terrible. It ain't looking too good for this game. Sony exclusives are overrated.